everyone, I'm Jazz, and on today's episode of the Luxury Home Show, you're joining Tom and I in Buckinghamshire. The property we're gonna be taking you inside today is a beautiful five bedroom, recently renovated home, and the interiors are a seamless blend of classic, timeless design and modern luxury. Is this the fight I'm searching for? the front of the house where we have lots of parking space as well as a two-car garage but Tom take a look at how stunning the house is I love the symmetry I love the contrast of the brickwork to all the colors and the sash windows look beautiful don't you think 100% before we head inside it's time to meet the owner hi I'm Chloe and I'm the owner of the lavenders the renovation took just under a year we started in November 2021 and we were in in August 2022, but we probably moved in a bit too early. We still had loads of bespoke joinery, tiling, decorating to do, but we were living in an RV in the garden, so we were pretty keen to get in early. <laughs> we bought the property for 575. We spent about half a million uh, renovating it, and that includes all of the internal work and external work. And now today it's worth just over two million. <laughs> Come on into the warmth, Tom. Thank you very much. Oh, it is toasty. toasty. Yeah. We're going to kickstart the tour off in the hallway. So we've got this seemingly double whip hall, very airy and a lot of space, but it's still very warm because you've got the oak wood herringbone flooring and also this lovely side table here, which has that same raw wood. And I feel like that just makes it feel so homey and warm. Homey. Homey. <laughs> <laughs> the candles make a difference too. Yeah, definitely. Wish you guys could smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible just yeah. all the way throughout here. But look at this vase, I love it. It's from Fox and Bo, and you can actually use Chloe's discount code, so we'll put it up on the screen for a lot of their products. Yeah, yeah. some beautiful pieces through yeah, there. What's definitely. behind you? Let me show you. Mm. So in here we have our first room, which is an office space. How perfect. beautiful is this? It's perfect, isn't it? You've got the low windows so you can see all the greenery outside. And check for your deliveries. And yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. Exactly that. And then we have this beautiful bespoke cabinetry here, which was actually built by Chloe's husband. So it was my husband, Joe, it's his company that actually completed the renovation for us, Delu Builders. Uh, they're a family run local business. They've been going for about 30 years. Um, so I was really, really lucky having him on board. He works with really trusted contractors. So all of the electricians, plumbers, they work with him on every job that he does. And he does anything from large scale, brand new developments to big extensions and renovations. So having him on board was absolutely amazing. He project ran the whole thing and they actually undertook all of the bespoke joinery. So the office, um, the units in the hallway, the fire surround, they built all of that themselves as well. We knew we were in safe hands. So coming out of the study, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the paints, especially in our latest tours. So we're gonna do our best to try name the paints throughout here. So in the hallway where we have this beautiful half paneling, we actually have the colors Ammonite and Cornforth. Yes, all Farrow and Ball paints. Yes. Yeah. I love the paneling, it looks so good. Yeah, definitely. And we've got loads of understair storage as well, which is great, and another door here. Ooh. What we got? What do we have? Oh, so this is the downstairs WC. Oh my gosh, I love the green. Yeah, You'll see this do. upstairs yeah. as well. It's so beautiful. But like again, you've got that same panelling theme all the way throughout. And the tiles you will see throughout this house. Mwah. Chef's kiss, if you so ask nice. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got a little furry friend waiting for us in the living section. Oh, wow. Introduce the audience okay. to this fella. So through the double doors, we have Blue. Hi. Isn't he beautiful? He's been the star of the show today. Yeah, you will see him lounging around like this in a lot of different places. Certainly so. not camera shy. No. So we'll start at this island here. I like how you've got the induction hob so you can cook away whilst looking at the beautiful view. I'm also eyeing up those croissants. Oh yeah, they look good, don't they? They do. On this side down here, we have a wine cooler. Opposite that, we have loads of storage, including the ovens. And I like at the height that they're at. So they're, oh, I'm so sorry, kitty. Didn't like the oven. oven. <laughs> but yeah, I like the height that they're at. They're very easy to access. Plenty of storage. And then we have our double fridge freezer through here as well. Wow, there's actually loads of storage. So Tom, much storage, right? While you're there, 
Okay. Can, I'm just going to open this one because this is the pantry. Okay. Chloe yeah, said like she uh, organised oh, it wow. especially for us. Look at that. That looks incredible. Ooh, ooh. Good work. It smells like spices. I love that. We love a pantry. We do. Yeah, it's a very aesthetic kitchen, especially oh, yeah. this section over here, Jazz, oh, yeah. with the lighting under the cupboards. How yeah. nice does it look? Come on over here. I love the marble throughout here, but this is stunning. So you actually have the herringbone marble splashback, and it's from Mandarin Stone, I believe. Yeah, it's Calcutta marble, yeah. and it's got those like nice amber tones in it. Yeah, it looks it's really so, good. Yeah, it's beautiful. They actually did that a couple of weeks ago, so it's a new addition. I even love just the little shelf here. Yeah, some nice warm, little, natural tones yeah. to keep it nice and cozy. Exactly, it's all the small things, I think. Yeah. We've got these really nice breakfast stools, different to the ones you usually see, I think. Like, yeah. once again, keeping that wood theme. And then these pendant lights that kind of flow throughout the kitchen and this space. It's very linear throughout yeah. here. I like the traditional design of the kitchen as well. Yeah. Really suits the house. Mm -hmm. I think the utility and the kitchen as well are all supplied by Terence Ball Kitchens. Oh, nice. So there's three different access points throughout the three different zones of this space, I'll say. Next one is this beautiful dining table. Now, if this isn't reminding you of Beauty and the Beast, I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah, that candle. I know what you mean. Beautifully arranged this man. table. Definitely. I love all the warm tones once again. And I love these green knives and forks. Because they're green? Yes. Okay. Precisely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> and we've got a lovely rug under there as well, keeping it nice and warm. The tiles on the floor throughout here, they're very Mediterranean vibe and very light too. But now we're in our third zone of the kitchen, which is this snug space. And speaking of light, yeah, I was just about to point that out. We have a beautiful lantern skylight above, flooding this space with light. We've got a rocking chair there. Oh my God, I was sat on this during the interview and it was really fun. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it's possessed. <laughs> I know, right, kitty? <laughs> but we have a TV here, a little bar set up, and it's worth noting that the paint in here is called Strong White. Nice. Farrow and ball again. Yeah, beautiful. What's through there? Mm, let me show you. Okay. So we have our utility space throughout here. I love the brick flooring. We actually saw that in a house we recently filmed called The Woodbury, so we'll link that above. But Tom. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. Saving the space. Stacked washing machines, that's what we <laughs> love to see. Nicely tucked away. And then over here we have our sink and these beautiful tiles. They're actually also from Mandarin Stone and they're called Hoxton White Porcelain Gloss. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, lovely. Let's come on back out here. Take a look at this way. Have you seen it from this angle, Tom? Yeah, it's very linear, isn't it? It's yeah. like a long space. Yeah, I really like how it's all at the back of the property, though. Yeah. Right, let's go check out the lounge. Yes. Now, the first thing your eye is drawn to <laughs> is actually the cats lounging yeah. on the floor. But apart from that, it's the fire. So we have the Stockton log burner and the bespoke surround. I think these are actually reclaimed bricks. Chloe was saying how great the insulation throughout the home is, which is great. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I've just got attacked by the cat. <laughs> Did you? Hey. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right! <laughs> anyway, Jazz, what were you saying? I love the panelling once again around the rooms. The walls are painted in a skimming stone colour from Farrumble, obviously. Yeah. And then that same wooden flooring continues throughout here. It's actually engineered wood and it's been coated with oil. How cozy are these sofas? Wait, wait, let me just sit down. You're gonna have a nice lounge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think they're from sofa.com. Yeah. D-O-T-C-O-M. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So how blue. You, how can you go from so aggressive to so cute in the space of about 15 seconds? Yeah, he likes the oak table, doesn't he? Yeah. A lot of the features throughout here, by the way. So you've got the cushions, they're from Fox and Bow, discount code on the screen. And then there's also a really great lamp from Pookie Lights. I love that name. And the interior design throughout this room is just beautiful. So my biggest inspiration for the interior design really was the surroundings. I wanted the house to fit seamlessly into the countryside and I also had sustainability at the forefront of my mind as well. So we did things such as use reclaimed bricks, which not only is sustainable but also gives that country tumbled feel as well. We installed an air source heat pump. So I took a lot of inspiration from designers such as Studio McGee and the designers at Neptune. Their styles are very much in line with mine, which is sort of timeless, contemporary and classic feel. 
I also absolutely love the Cotswolds company. I've got a lot of their pieces throughout my home as well. So we're coming up onto the first floor of the property now and the first bedroom we're gonna check out is the principal suite. So come on in, Tom. The room's kind of divided into different sections, but we're gonna start here in the main bedroom. How stunning. Wow, what a grand space. The ceiling heights in here are incredible. I know, and that light here, the pendant light, really just emphasizes the space, actually yeah. from Neptune Homes. I love a vaulted ceiling. Oh yeah, we do. Now, first, the paint. So we have the paneling painted in elephant's breath and then skimming stone once again on the walls. Fire on ball again. But look how beautiful this bed is. So the bed frame and the ottoman at the end are actually from Cotswold Ho. Now Chloe's actually an ambassador for them, so check them out. Look all the candles. Yeah, I love how the sun comes them. in here too. Yeah, definitely. And we have the bed lights either side and then the bedside tables from the white lighthouse. Nice. Now this is probably my favorite part. This makeup station is really lovely. You've got plenty of storage and the mirror, the lights, the windows, is so ideal yeah. for makeup. Love the sash windows. And yeah. speaking of sash windows, the sash window company, I think they're called. Yeah. Actually created these bespoke doors. They're almost yeah. double width. Same as in the kitchen. Yeah. And mm. if I open them out, you can peek out onto the balcony. I'm not gonna go out because it has just rained, but out there is actually made by Chloe's husband. Again, the flooring is that composite decking, so it's really good for longevity and durability. It's Ooh. a fantastic size balcony, that. Yeah. So much bigger than you would normally expect. Yeah, Chloe was saying that her husband, Joe, was a bit hesitant on it, but... Yeah, it turned it out great. great. Definitely. Now, come on down. Hi, kitty. So he's just following us everywhere. Yeah, let's so just have... not fight me now. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. So here we have our dressing area. It's even got like a nice bench seat with the window. So once again, lights coming through. And at the end, we have our ensuite. I love this ensuite. So aesthetic. We've even like tucked the toilet around the door so you can't quite see yeah. it. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. yeah. And we've got the roll top bath here, the window, but it doesn't need to be like blurred or frosted because there's no one overlooking you here. Yeah, and you get the view. Yeah, exactly. We've got the twin basins. Once again, you have the panelling halfway around the wall and then a walk-in shower with these beautiful tiles. They have a nice like blue tone to them, but it really mm. matches the twin basins. Beautiful. Wow, look at the shower head on that. Massive. Ooh. Next stop is the guest bedroom. Now, paint colours throughout here before forget we have stony gray on the paneling and then Wimborne white on the walls i'd say your cardigan's kind of stony gray your jumper do you think i thought it was more of a beige well similar color well I suppose it's not now i don't know what colors jumper. are anymore <laughs> <laughs> exactly we have a lovely bed frame in the middle the bedside tables are from cotswold co again through here we have our ensuite let's take a little peek through i like the darker wooden flooring throughout here and as you can see, that half panelling continues with the tiles. Do you want to peek around, Tom? Yeah, if I get in the shower. Oh, nice. How, <laughs> how beautiful are the tiles? They're very glossy as well. Yeah, and you've got are. the continuation of this style um, by Burlington, London. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite have to remember that one, did you? No. You just read it. Yeah. And we also have a really nice light from the Dunelm there. Now, straight opposite me, just down this corridor here, we have another room, which is currently being used as a gym setup, but it could be an extra bedroom. But I love how wide these hallways are. Oh! You missed the bathroom. Yeah, I did. So we've got that same dark wooden flooring. And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, the tiles are also unique to each bathroom. And yeah, panelling continues. You've got a nice sink throughout here. Chloe said earlier she actually did that tiling herself, so yeah, fair play. Yeah, I love when toilet roll does this. When, what just does it itself? So. Yeah, I love it when people <laughs> fold toilet roll. There you go, happy now? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> we have a storage cupboard just here and this nice little side table here, but should we head up to the final floor? Yeah, we've got two more bedrooms to show you guys, so let's do it. Let's go. I've just noticed that the carpet runner down the stairs actually matches the banisters because you've got that oak wood and the white and it matches the stairs perfectly. Oh, nice. Come on, I'll take you into this bedroom first. Once again, herringbone style flooring. Now, I really like this bedroom. I like the black accents throughout yeah. on the photo frames as well. I like the pitch of the ceiling. Yeah. There's something about the top floor of these type of properties yeah. that just feels so nice and cozy. Definitely. I like this little makeup station here. I keep calling it a makeup station. It could be anything, but for me, yeah. that's what it would be. And these um, candlestick holders are really uh, cool. Really aren't they? cool. Chloe was actually saying the view from that room's her favorite because yeah, you see view. the paddocks. Bathroom? Yeah. 
Wow, I love this bathroom. I love the... Gr oh my gosh, the tiles! Uh, is that you telling me to come in, is it? Yeah, okay. It's a little bit smaller, but we'll fit. If I get in here. How stunning are these tiles? I want these tiles in my bathroom. How beautiful. That lovely, like, pale green. Yeah, they are Very nice, glossy as well. Kind of matches the um, panelling throughout. And once again, nice window with lots of light. Yeah. Whee! Come on through. Next bedroom. This one is a little bit bigger. Same style with the pitch of the ceiling, but a lovely green colour. Unfortunately, I do not know the name of this one, but I will have I'm to sure ask. it's from Farrow and Ball. Yeah, you'll, you'll find it if you look on there. Yeah. <laughs> and we have lovely bedding with the pillows to match and views on either side. Views out to the garden. Should we check it out? Yeah, let's do that. So if I was going to renovate another property, which hopefully I will, I think I would have a little bit more patience Living outside was, it really put the pressure on. And also the wedding, we kind of had deadlines that we needed to be in by. Um, so if I was gonna do it again, I think I'd give myself a lot more time and I'd be a lot more patient with the build. If I was gonna give anyone advice for their renovation, I would say just really try to enjoy the process. Don't rush it, just take every day as it comes and definitely make sure you prepare for any unexpected costs. So I'm just coming out of the kitchen area now into the back garden and we have so much space to explore but first we have this lovely patio area now to my right we have a jacuzzi you've got high fences all the way around so you can't really be seen by your neighbors over here we have a lovely seating area under the balcony above look at the fairy lights nice how right? sweet yeah and you've got loads of access out too tom there's a pizza oven oh my wow. gosh oh brick you've got all the logs under there Perfect spot to cook up some pizzas. Hello, Hello. Even got a, a like a barbecue fire pit thing yeah. here that has like a rotisserie yeah. slot. So Such you can a great addition. It looks so much better than just having like a barbecue, like mm. one you buy from the shop. Then we have access to our garage through here. There's actually a gym in there, right Tom? Yeah. And then we've got all of this lawn space at the back. So this is where Chloe and her husband Joe would have been staying in their trailer whilst yeah. the house was being completed. But take a look at the back. We started the video here and we're going to finish it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to comment what you thought about the house and also be sure to follow Chloe's Instagram. We'll see you in the next one. <gasps> what is it? Why did you go on the rug? Soaking. I'm gonna have to take my socks No, 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 no. They're soaking. <laughs> take a step back. Perfect. Pretty cool. Do some star jumps, man. Warm yourself up. Don't just suffer. I don't want to mess my hair up. I don't think you will. like finding a well. <laughs> well, 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 not that.